Hello there, and welcome to the seventh episode of the series editor tutorial series by Seven Smoke. As you requested in the previous episode, this time I'll be covering how to create some water. It's not really a complicated process, so this episode should be a little shorter than normal, but let's get right to it. Alright, so a good water entity consists of three parts. The geometry for the water itself, the fluid entity, and optionally, but highly recommended, the mirror entity. Let's begin with the water itself first. Simply add in a simple model using the insert key, like you usually would, and select any of the primitives that you wish to use for your water. I'll just use a box here so I can make a flat pane of water in this hole that I've created. Stretch it out a little. Okay. Now, go to the layer tab, and for a polygon map, you're going to... Uh, going to remove the standard shader and instead select the browse button under the shader option and select the ripple shader. Now this is a special kind of shader that will work perfectly for the water that we are trying to recreate. Now there's something I'd like to point out first. If you go into the uh, level view and you notice that let's say this surface is entirely black well, if this happens, you're, it means your map doesn't have a probe light, as I'll demonstrate here. I delete this one, and I'm going to go into level view. It's completely black. But you need a probe light for this, and wh why that's the case? The probe light uh, reflects uh, the environment around it onto the water, so that, yeah, just like real water, there's a reflection uh, in it that shows the world around it. So that's why you need a probe light entity. But enough of that. Let's go back to the mesh editor and into the layer tab. Well, this is the ripple shader and you'll see quite a lot of options here, but let's go over what this does. Well, for, first you're going to go to each of these bump map uh, options. Now, go to series symmetry, textures, generic, and then effects. And down here you'll find some water 01NM textures. These two, these are some good water textures. Now if I select this one and give it the texture UV map, you'll notice that there's a little uh, water ripple in the water now. Now if I go out of the mesh editor and press the play button, you'll notice the water starts flowing. And this is, this is, the essen this is essentially the, what the ripple shader is all about. You can create this kind of flowing water effect with it that the other uh, shaders don't easily support. So now if I add another water normal map here, you'll see that it becomes even more highly detailed now. And go back. You'll kind of see that there's two different water ripples uh, going on here. Now say I want this one to... Uh, flow a little uh, faster than the other. So what I do is I go into bump speed and double these values for example. Now if you notice if you look very closely you'll see the first water normal map is uh, flowing fa a little faster than the other and if I wanted to put more emphasis on this water I just increase the height but as you can see in most cases, that's a little over excessive. So, something like this. All right, and you could do this for four bump maps. So, toy around with the uh, settings that you feel most comfortable with until you've got something good looking with the ripple shader. And once you're done with that, we'll move on to the next step. And the next step. It's making this water a little more realistic. Because right now, it doesn't create any kind of ripple. When you shoot it, then you can just fall right through it. Well, first of all, add a water material in the very bottom of the default polygon map. You can find material attributes, and then in Series M3 database materials, at the very uh, bottom, you'll find water. And you'll also need to 
enable the collision mesh so that bullets can collide with the water. Alright, now we've got a ripple, except you can also become Jesus now by walking on water. To fix that, go to the Entity tab of the water and add in a Static Model Scheme Override, like so. And in Collision Type, select Ghost Vector. Oh, that's the wrong button. And now we shoot the water for a ripple effect. But we can still just fall through it and we're not really diving or anything. So that's what we're going to fix next. And this is done by way of the Fluid Entity, as I mentioned earlier. Under the Tools tab, drag and drop the Fluid Entity into the world. Alright, now we're going to... Tweak the size and... Uh, mesh of this Fluid Entity a little. So we'll just... Give it a good... Size, that it's... Kind of kind of the same proportions as this water hole here. Not perfect, but it's about the right size. So this fluid is what the player will be able to actually dive in. But if we go into the water, that's still not very realistic. The gravity is a little lower, but beyond that. That's because we haven't added in a material. You need to select material here. And the same folder that the other water material was in, but this time select water fluid. And now... Alright, that works a lot better. Except it doesn't really look like we're in the water. It sounds like we're in the water, but not as if we are actually in it. And that is because we didn't add in a post-processing effect to the water. So go under post-processing effect, new. And you have a lot of options here. But for the purpose of the water creation, we only need to change a few. I would suggest motion blur strength. Let's give it about 0 0.2. Uh, Gaussian blur radius. Let's give it about 3. And okay. So right now it's a lot more belief. So you actually kind of blurs your vision as though you were in real water. Maybe it could be a little darker in here. Oh, wrong mesh. So let's go under the boat pressing effect again and lightness is just give it about 0 point, uh, minus 0 0.4. And well, as for all these other options, wouldn't really recommend adjusting them, but you can tweak around with all these settings as you wish and find a water setting that works for you. But I think... I think this works alright for the time being. Which is a fairly realistic water. Uh, at this point, you could call it a day by now, but there's still one more s one more uh, entity that you can use for the water to make it just a little bit more realistic. And my point in case is this rock I've just added in here. You don't really see it reflecting into the water. Well, for that we're going to use the mirror entity, which is right here under the effects tab. Okay, so... Adjust this mirror's position so that it kind of so that it's parallel with the water. All right. Let's uh, just size a little. You can do this by holding down Control and Shift at the same time, and then dragging around these arrows. Okay. Now, under Mirror Levels per Platform, select this yellow plus icon. And under mirror level, select architecture. We still don't see anything though. Well, don't worry, we're getting there. Okay, now select the rock and or whatever other entity you're using here, and check visible in mirrors so that it the editor knows that this entity is allowed to be reflected onto the mirror. Okay, go back to the mirror entity. 
Now, with the mirror entity still selected, you select the reflection and then New, see Canvas Texture. And then, still with the mirror entity selected, you press Shift and then B. So we've baked the mirror entity so that it um, received all the lighting around it. So if we hover over this local, you'll see the reflection texture that um, this mirror is going to use. So you see, you can see the rock in there, you can see the, the sky as well. Now, uh, select the reflection and then copy it. So control and then C. Alright, now go to the simple model and under shader modifiers click this little plus icon, select C constant shader modifier, uh, click this yellow plus next to value and select C shader arc val texture and under that control V this to pointer and now you've copied over the reflection texture to, this, to the water itself and in destination type in reflection texture and as you can already see you can now see the mirror in the, the the rock in the mirror that of the water entity right let's make this rock a little taller to emphasize the effect you can see it kind of breaks up though that's because of all the ripples in the water if we lower the bump height of some of these waters then you can see the effect kind of gets better it's found finding the right balance between having a detailed water and a nice reflection of the rock like for example if I gave everything a bump height of zero the rock would just perfectly reflect into the water. Well, you're just going to have to fiddle around with the settings, try to find a, a uh, configuration that works with your personal preferences. But that's about, um, well, that's basically how to create a good looking water entity. Now, Well, I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial and found it useful. As per usual, if you have any suggestions for episodes that you'd like to see me cover, just uh, just just uh, post a comment in the comment section of this video, and I'll consider covering it in another tutorial. Hopefully, one or two weeks. From now. All right. Well. This was supposed to be a short episode.